guys what is up welcome back to another video in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get the best competitive Rotom in Sword and Shield and the best build for it so um yeah first things first obviously you're gonna need a Rotom and this is easy to get in a thunderstorm at the Lake of Outrage so um this is my competitive Rotom and this is an absolute tank well not really a tank but it's an absolute beast in um, competitive battling it's not a, it isn't a tank Pokemon but yeah so the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, you're gonna want to breed or you can do max raid battles and to get the Rotom and you're gonna want to get one with good IV so this one and the main IV you're gonna want is speed Rotom is designed for speed to be at max so um, uh, so as you can see, my Rotom, um, well, this guy's speed isn't at max, so I mustn't have, I haven't actually bred a perfect Rotom yet, but this is, as you can see, see the speed's very good, but you want that at very best. And you also want the, uh, special attack, um, Rotom is actually good really good for competitive battling because you can see you want your attack anything other than special attack mainly you bet you want your attack at decent you do not need attack attack is pretty much useless on this pokemon as long as you want your speed and your special attack mainly at best as you can see my poke this one's perfect other than its speed isn't at best so then, once you got a, po a Rotom like that, you're going to want to turn it into the either the oven form or the washing machine form. And the reason you're going to want to do that is, see, I'm just going to turn this one into the washing machine form. And it will learn a move, and you're going to want to keep that move, as you can see. This one will just learn Hydro Pump, and this one will learn um, Heat Wave, I'm pretty sure. And so, once you got your Rotoms, well, you only need one. Once you got your Rotom, they are these two forms. This is because these two forms are um, special, uh, physical attack, oh, special attackers, sorry, and they're both very fast. So, once you got these two forms, you're going to want to give it an item. Um, so, as you can see, uh, Rotom is holding the, the Choice Scarf. So, the Choice Scarf, as you, um, the Choice Scarf, let me just get it. As you can see, an item held by a Pokemon. This curious scarf boosts speed, but only allows the use of one move. So this move is what you're going to want to give Rotom. The reason you're going to want to give Rotom is, is because you want Rotom to attack first in battle every single time. If Rotom doesn't attack first in battle, he can get taken out so, so easily. So, um, so you're going to want to give him the choice scarf. Um... Yeah, so then the move set you're gonna want to teach your this is what I've gone with. Um, these are the moves you're gonna want to teach your Rotom, and I'll show you how to get the moves too. So, Thunder Wave, and this is so if your opponent is, um, if you've got a spare move like they've got, like they can't switch out or something, and you've just got a free spare move you don't need to use. Um, you're gonna wanna, this is what Thunder Wave's good for, and it can completely stop special sweepers and physical sweepers. So it, it halves the Pokemon's speed. Thunder, if your Pokemon's paralyzed, it halves their speed. And then you're gonna wanna teach Trick. Now this is if your Pokemon, if you're not deciding to switch, use Volt Switch. So basically when you switch out, when you, you're gonna want Rotom first in your party when you're going online competitive battling. And then, as soon as your opponent sends out their Pokemon, you're going to want Rotom first. Rotom's going to go in, then you're going to use Volt Switch straight away. So that's so you know what your opponent's got, and then you can just, you've got to basically... So basically, so it's just basically showing you what your opponent's 
sending out first, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard to explain. And then you can switch out to the, the Pokemon that can take it out straight away. Then you're going to want Overheat. This is the po move it learns when you give it the thing. Um, harshly low special attack though, but it's a good move if your Pokemon's sending out like a um, any basically fire types is super effective against a lot of typing. So yeah, it's good if it sends out a bug type like Garvantula, which is usually what they do. And then Volt Switch is also super effective against water types. So if they've got a water type first in their party and they send it out, you can easily get your Pokemon out of there fast. So Trick. Trick is so if your Pokemon sends out a, a let's say a um, Hydreigon, you can teach it Trick. You can use Trick and then Hydreigon's got the Choice Scarf permanently for the rest of the battle. And he can only use one move, basically, because it's going to give... It switches your held item, so he's going to get the choice scarf. But his speed will go a lot faster. Um, the best ability, Levitate. You're going to want... This is the most common ability. I think this is the only ability Rotom can learn. Is Levitate. And this just basically makes it immune to ground types. So very, very good. Especially against a fire type like Rotom. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to show you how to get the moves. Um, so to get... Uh, to get Thunder Wave and Vo Volt Switch, you're going to want to go here. I'm going to want to fly right here. And these are permanent TMs, they're not TRs, they're TMs, you can easily get them. You just go over to this dude here, um, no, this dude here, and do the Road on Rally. And I, it literally took me three times, tries, and I got the both the TMs. So you're just going to want to go do the Road on Rally, do that three times, and then that's basically how you get them. You're going to want to do the longest road on Rally too. Um, to get Trick, you're going to want to fly all the way down to this this place here. You're going to want to go over here and then talk to this guy. And I've already done a video on how to get this move, but yeah, my neighbour is just pulling out right now. And then you're going to want to spend your watts and then um, um, okay, so usually this guy here, usually this dude right, right here will give you trick, TR trick, um, so just date and time reset a few times or wait a few real days, I don't know what you have to do, I think you have to wait a few real days and this guy will usually show you trick, right, it'll be right here, so yeah, that's how you get trick and then to get, um, yeah, then that's basically how to get all the moves. To get the final move, all you got to do is just give, make your Rotom change form and he will automatically learn it. So yeah, um, I think I've covered everything. Uh, that is basically how to get the po perfect competitive Rotom in, in Sword and Shield. So yeah, and the best nature, by the way, I think. Um, guys, the best nature for Rotom to learn to have is actually timid nature so yeah mine's not timid but it's easily easy to change the nature just go to the battle stadium and get earn like 50 point battle points and then um yeah my dog's crying <laughs> yeah just earn 50 points at the battle stadium and then you can um just buy a um quirky mint i'm pretty sure it's called and then just give it to the pokemon no a timid mint and give it to the pokemon and it'll learn the best um, nature. So yeah, guys, that is how to get the absolute perfect Rotom in Sword and Shield. You can change the the moves if you want. You can do whatever you want, but that that's basically a ba very good competitive Pokemon to have on your team. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace.